it will be the Austrian Meltzer to get this one underway. Drones already. Federer missing the first ball. Federer really does have an incredible record at the Australian Open. Four times before, 04, 06, 07 and 2010. That was the last final he reached that year, but he's reached the semi-final or better 12 out of the last 13 years. Ah. Maybe just uh, yet to get used to the pace of the court. The only year that he didn't reach uh, the semi-finals was 2015, knocked out in the third round on that occasion. He's never lost in the first round before, though. Love service hold then for Meltzer. Gets on the board first, first in this opening set. He still described it. Federer as the worst opponent that a qualifier can draw. Well, I think many in the, the press disagree with that, the fact that Federer hasn't played in a slam for so long. Federer, this one also faces a, a qualifier, incidentally. So it'll be either Fratangelo or uh, Ruben. The semi-finalist here last year was Federer. Lost to Djokovic in four sets in the last four. One of only seven tournaments he played in 2016. Also a semi-finalist at Wimbledon. So even though it was an injury ravaged yet, there were some positives. Fifteen ah! Meltzer, although he did play a lot of tennis last year with his shoulder injury, he'd have a couple of big wins in the couple of ATP Tour events that he did play. In Kitzbühel, he beat Dominic Thiem, then world number nine. And in Vienna, he beat Dantisto Gut. So he is still a very dangerous player at this level. Faulty level. Service. Ideal service hold for Roger Federer. One First game he's won since July last year in competitive tennis. Of course, missed uh, so much of last year with that left knee injury. Gave himself plenty of time to recover. He wanted the full off-season to make sure he was prepped and ready for this uh, Grand Slam. He talked in his press conferences very honestly about saying five sets is almost stepping into the unknown. But he's uh, trained as hard as he possibly can. Everyone is watching this one just a little as closely as possible just to see if Federer still has that magic, see if he's lost anything, lost a half a step of speed maybe. Highest level of the sport, it's marginal gains that win you the slams. Full 
Tito. Yet to have a point against serve. And that's still the case. Second love service hold Meltzer for Jürgen Meltzer, who moves in front again in this opening set. This program is presented by TennisPoint.com. Oh, he's found the corner. Nothing wrong with his reach. One giant step hit. Flexibility. Where that open stance forehand, able to control it too. First point against serve, and it's a fine point from Jürgen Meltzer. 15 -0. Already looks like he's striking the ball well and taking Federer on as much as he can. Le leapt into that one. His best uh, effort, incidentally, in the Australian Open is a fourth round appearance in 2011. Jürgen Meltzer, former semi finalist of the French Open, though, so he has gone deep before in a slam. 40 15. Can you miss it right now, isn't it? In terms of the service games Two we're seeing from both players, just the one point against serve so far. It's 2 all. This has been an incredibly hot day here in Melbourne. The 36 degrees, even hotter on the court. A lot cooler now that the night has settled in. So Andy Murray go through earlier. A long three-set match. So the games are going to go a little quicker in this one. Ah! Murray's assessment of the court was that it was lively. After his uh, win. Beating Ilya Marchenko earlier on. Yeah, a fair few miss hits for Federer in the opening four games, but need to strike a better ball. Nothing you could do there, though. That's an excellent forehand from Meltzer. It's a tougher shot to play than what it often looks. Really knife down the back of the ball here, Federer. A lot of whip from Meltzer. And over the ball, look where he finished. Above his head. Fifteen thirteen. First double fault for the Austrian. Gutsy. 
Had he Absolutely. missed that, would have been two break points down. Absolutely nailed into the corner. Forty thirty. Right on top of the return. This. Advantage, Melzer. Effective lefty serve. Sliding it away on the backhand side. Oh, it was called out and then corrected. I need I need you to challenge Jürgen because he corrected, but I think it's out. Mr. Merzel is changing the call on the left is line, the ball was caught in. You need to challenge because he corrected, but it's out. So interesting goings on. The chair umpire actually saying he feels it's out. So I don't know why he didn't overrule the correction. So it's Jürgen Meltzer who challenged. And it's a correct challenge. So uh, Meltzer survives that service game and moves in front once more. Yeah, well, number 300, 3-2 three, in front. This program is presented by TennisPoint.com. On serve in this first set. Love 15. Incidentally, there's a real battle going on over on the Margaret Court Arena. Stan Favrinka has been taken to a fifth set against Martin Klesan. Klesan was actually up in the second and third sets by a break in both of them, yet lost them both. 15 -0. At least it's a fifth set for the fourth seed. Lisanne, though, was the man to win the fourth set. Beautifully done. It's the Federer game that everyone loves to watch. Just makes it look so simple, doesn't he, this sport?
third seal. I think it was the right move. Didn't quite execute it. Thought they were a fraction late, perhaps, and then he had to, had to hit this volley below the height of the net. Well, 30, 40. just backed away in that point, Federer. And it's Meltzer with the first break point of this opening set. Yeah, oh, he's made it. What a shot that is from the world number 300. And Jürgen Meltzer breaks Federer and leads by four games to two, first set. And Hughes a dangerous opponent, that is some passing shot. When you consider how deep the approach shot was from Federer, great use to the knees. Maybe 35, but he looks like he's uh, fresh and moving well, isn't he, Jürgen Meltzer? No doubt helped by coming through qualifying. Good win over Taro Daniel, the Japanese 13th seed in the qualifying. That probably is Beth win. Also, beat Rajiv Ram in the final round. And from a set down as well. Well, despite the woos from the crowd, it was called long. I think it was long. Better a challenging. Ripped through the ball, didn't he? That was why it got all the wows. But it did miss the line. 15 up. Still, there are two challenges remaining. by his man at is enjoying this 18, 13. he maybe knows uh, a disrespect to his age but may not get too many more opportunities where he gets to play a legend of the game in a first round of a grand slam with where his uh, world ranking is at the moment and you do feel it's a false ranking with the 13. tennis we're seeing in these opening exchanges Former world number eight, remember, working his way back from injury. Playing some good tennis here. Fair amount of rust, isn't there, in the Federer game? Led for service.
can understand that reaction from Meltzer. To deal with all sorts of different spins and speeds in the rally. Knows if he can nick the first set here, then pressure will grow for Federer. It's been a long time, of course, since he's played competitive tennis. Never lost in the first round here at the Australian Open. Failed to qualify in 1999, which was the first year he attempted to play this tournament. And his first year in it, he got through to the third round in 2000. He's got that wrong. It's the pressure, isn't it, that comes with playing one of the world's best. It has to be so good so often. First break point for the world number 17. Yes. Yeah, it's the uh, standard serve, isn't it, for a lefty, particularly from the advantage court side. So there is, a, of course, a, an experienced campaign. It's the last 16 of all four of the Grand Slams before. Ah. And Federer doing well to get the serve back in play and deep. Second break point of the game. to the delight of the majority of this crowd. Although it's Meltzer who's still in front by four games to three. This program is presented by TennisPoint.com. Entertaining start to this one. Break a piece. We're looking to stop the run of breaks now at 3 4, first set. 15 left. So he's got uh, five titles to his name, four of those on hard courts. Ah! One on clay. He was also runner up on a, in a grass court event in Newport. That was his first ever final in 2003. Ah! So much like Federer has been around for a long, long time. Federer also won his first slam in that year, didn't he? That was uh, on the grass of Wimbledon. 
Paul Tillo. Uh, seeking to become the third man in history to win five Australian Open singles titles after Novak Djokovic and Roy Emerson. Both won six titles here. Second serve ace to close out the game. And that does indeed end the run of breaks of serve. A minute and 11 seconds. Four games all then here. Meanwhile, over on the Margaret Court Arena, it's a real battle, isn't it? Fifth set, two games all. Fourth seed in trouble. Stan Vavrinka to all with uh, Martin Kleedzant in the fifth set. And also two sets to one up in that match, Vavrinka. Peg back, that's on Eurosport 2. Just a reminder, there was also a breakdown in set two and three. Vavrinka but turned those sets around to, to win them both. So it's been a match full of drama. Are we uh, going to see the, the fourth seed of the men and the women go out? Samantha Halep went out earlier on today in the women's. Anthony Curler survived a scare. Third team won one in three sets against the Seat Serenko. Had a match point in the second set, did Kerber, but failed to take it and then got taken to a third set. Oh, we just wonder whether Federer lost a half a step of speed in the off-season and what with his knee injury, but he was certainly quick up to that ball. Part of the skill, of course, he just reads the game so well. Oh. There was some return from Federer, but he gone down the line, left himself exposed to the cross-court backhand, but was well, some backhand from Meltzer to keep the racket head speed, to generate the spin. Not always easy to generate that amount of spin off a slice ball. Good aggressive yeah, tennis from Meltzer. And he moves in front again. Just a game Meltzer away from taking the opening set four. now is the Austrian. Leads 5 4. Federer coming out to try to serve to stay in this 
opening set, 4-5. Second ace for the Swiss. 15 left. What a pickup. Got a little lucky with the net cord, but took full advantage of it. It's quite incredible hand skills on the former world number one. Just what the doctor ordered. Comfortable love service hold for Roger Federer. Five games sold. It's five all. First set. And that's Valanda was saying just before this match about how in uh, important it might be to have a, a tough draw for Federer himself. Some match time. That'd be good for him to then build his way into this tournament. He had played so little tennis for the last year or so. Good first serve percentage for Meltzer. They want to keep that high, but it's an unforced error with the slice backhand. A rock solid volley. And Ivan Lubicic enjoyed that one. Love 13. Just didn't quite do enough you know, with that attempted passing shot from Meltzer. And as ever, technically sound. On the former world number one. Like it well out in front. Taking a little while to get going in this one, Federer. But he's looking back to his old self now. And it's three break points after that wondrous forehand. Mr. Mazur sending the ball. Left service line. Ball was called out. Challenge here then from Meltzer. It's not a good one, though. Ten, extra service. pressure on his second serve. Bit of a strange challenge, that. Out. And he's missed that one. Finish. And Federer breaks again. And in a few moments' time, will serve for the first set. 17th seed, Finish. leads 6-5. Six five. Six five. Mr Meltzer has two challenges.
was a breakdown in this opening set, Federer, but now serving for it at 6-5. Certainly entertaining the crowds now. Sort the first game, he had a number of miss hits. It's been a while since we saw his last miss hit. So after 37 minutes, the four times former champion here at the Australian Open with three set points. Game and, first set and that is just what Roger Federer would have wanted for a first set here at the Australian Open. It was made to work for it, but comes through it. Takes it by seven games to five. Tennispoint.com, Europe's biggest online tennis specialist. More than 300,000 tennis items. More than 100 premium brands. Deal of the day. Every day, a special offer. Order now with free shipping at tennispoint.com. Advantage you. First set, it's got to be a tough set to take if you're Jurgen Meltzer. Played some really good Lovely tennis. Team. First set percentage was at 74%. Yeah, so many players have done throughout the last 12 years or so. Found themselves on the losing side. I'd say 12 years, even longer than that. 14, 15 years. Love 30. Federer has just upped his game of late and he's continued early on in this. Second set. Incidentally, Martin Klesan has broken Stan Wawrinka in the fifth set. So he's now 4-3 up in the fifth. Fourth seed in real trouble. One over on Eurosport 2. Federer now seeing the ball like a football. He was so far inside the court for that second serve return, suffocating his opponent. And that's three break points to get an early break in the second set. Game finished. Federer breaks to love. First game, Super start for the four times champion. It's as if he's never been away, isn't it? Leads one love, second set, having taken the first set, 7-5. Just confirmation of what I was talking about just a few moments ago. Stan Wawrinka, the fourth seed, in real trouble. But he did come from a breakdown in both set two and set three, and won both of those sets. He's going to have to do it again if he's going to stay in the tournament. He's a breakdown now in the fifth set, that one on Eurosport 2. Action from the Margaret Court Arena. 4-3, Cleesand deciding set. 
Fourth seed in the women's already out. Simona Halep is the fourth seed in the men's going to follow. just love this time of year excitement of grand slam tennis yet again it comes around so quickly start of each year yeah, i used to play a bit of tennis one of the reasons i used to love this time of year as well was to see all the new kits that would come out Federer usually goes for the classic type of look. A bit more jazzy this time. 15, 13. Personally quite like it. So I hadn't seen a miss hit for a while. There was one and a half a chance here for Meltzer to get the break back. 13. Fourth ace. The 17th seed. A strange calling him the, the 17th seed after so many years of saying, well, a seed within the top four. What? And just got to find a way here of stopping Federer from getting right on top of the baseline and getting up the court because it is... Swiss player is bossing almost all of the points now. Meltzer just changing his racket. The other thing Meltzer needs to maybe try and do is just to slow Federer down in between the points. He's racing through the points. It's always something that he likes to do. Phil, he's almost quicker today than he has been in the past. More like it from Meltzer. Super aggressive off the return, and this time it's the Austrian who gets himself forward. Just look close, this one. Challenge then from the Austrian. But it has caught the line. Good call that. I don't think it's fitted. Well, he's hit three lines in that rally. Twice found the baseline and then the sideline. <laughs> and I don't think Meltzer can believe that he's lost that point. So Federer consolidates the break and opens up a two-love lead. Talking of breaks, there's a break point for Stan Wawrinka. That's over on Eurosport 2. He's a breakdown in the fifth set to Martin Kleedzant. Tell you that Vavrinka has got the break, so it's now four all in the fifth over on Eurosport 2. Needs to stop the rot here, Meltzer. He's lost five games in a row. Ah! 
Paul Tiller. Holds to love, and it is a first game in six for the world number 300. But it's Federer who leads by a set and a break. This program is presented by tennispoint.com. Nice number five for Federer. Well, he's won uh, five out of the last six games. Oh, that's insane. Moving back on the half volley into the corner. And it's why if you have any chance, that sort of shot is why so many people are desperate to watch Roger Federer live in action. 35 years of age, he talks about having a fair few years left in him yet, which I think is a good thing because... He is such a special player, a legend of the game. And he's hit a purple patch here, no doubt about that. It was 4-2 down, remember, in the first set. Now finds himself a set-up, and now 3-1 up in the second. Meltzer, uh, who elected to play uh, in Chennai before uh, going through qualifying here, was knocked out in the f second round of qualifying in Chennai. It's a long road back from world number 300, particularly when you're 35 years of age. They drop as low as 550 in the world. With the tennis that he's demonstrated already here, though, it won't be too long where he gets himself back inside the world 100. It's always been fun to watch. Say an all court player. Had a lot of success on the doubles court. A couple of slams in his pocket. His partner, Peschner, won a 2010 Wimbledon, 2011 US Open. So playing a, a mixed doubles 
Grand Slam at Wimbledon in 2011. Venisova. Tricky lefty, of course. He's not played badly in this one. Federer has been too hot at times. Last time, great reactions from Meltzer. It's a bullet of a return from Federer. And it's a love service hole for Meltzer. Federer, though, still in front here. 3 2, second set. an entertaining affair so far this one That's, uh, points one percentage wise pretty high for Roger Federer First serve percentage isn't as high as his opponents yet it's going in the right direction it's 62% it was around 54% in the first set Meltzer knows that he needs to make the most the second serves that he does see. Oh! Did. Well, there's unforced errors, and then there's unforced errors. This one was a big one. Well, that any sleep usually, Federer. a little bit of trouble after that mean forehand from Meltzer. 15, 13. Top tier tennis. Momentum can shift pretty quickly and Federer just taking his off the ball on the previous point. Now Meltzer at 15, 30. Make that 30 all. 30. Remember you can watch uh, Stan Wawrinka who's 15, 30 up and 5-4 up in the fifth against Martin Klesan. Klesan serving to stay in it. That's on Eurosport 2 and Eurosport player. Federer's in a battle here in this game. 30, Just wonder about match practice and the kind of matches that Federer has had in the last seven, eight months. Leads to errors like we saw on the forehand on the second point of this game. And now it's break point Meltzer. Yes. Finds another first serve though, Federer. How many times has he done that throughout his career? Return. 
It's the most of the second serve. Let's break point once more. Meltzer breaks back. Well, well, well. It was a purple patch for Roger Federer, but that purple patch is over, no doubt about that. It's 3 all in this second set. Elsewhere, meanwhile, Stan Vavrinka, I can tell you, over on the Margaret Court Arena, has survived. This was match point just a few moments ago. Had to come from a break back in set two, three, and five. But was able to do it. And he, by the skin of his teeth, is through to the second round, winning 6-4 in the third. And remember, he had a match against Dan Evans at the US Open last year. We had to save a match point. That was in round three. Whenever he tends to struggle early on in Grand Slams, he quite often goes on to win the big, big win for Stan Vavrinka. Tough first round opponent, Martin Klesant. But he survived and is through. Can Roger Federer survive too? Three all second set. Just dropped his level momentarily. Another love service hold for Meltzer. That's three in a row now for the Austrian. And for the first time in this second set, he is in front. Leads 4-3. Topsy-turvy match so far, this one. Remember, it was Meltzer who was a break-up in the first, 4-2, and then lost the set. Went a breakdown in this one. Now it's back almost level, but the Austrian who's on the charge. Lost five games in a row. But now he has won four of the last five. Number eight for Federer. Oh. And when it's going for you, it's really going for you. 
Big slice of luck there from Meltzer. You can argue he deserves a bit of luck, being positive with the return, taking it early. shot that is wonderful hand skills from Meltzer 15, about the only shot open to him here at stretch angling the racket face and angling the ball away from Federer three more break points didn't do enough with the volley and Meltzer breaks again. It was all looking so comfortable for Roger Federer. Again, a go back to that missed forehand. At 3 2 up. 15 love. Simple ball misses it. And since then, he's been out of his rhythm. And Meltzer has taken full advantage. Austria now then serving for the second set. Momentum is with Meltzer. It's a funny old game tennis, isn't it? How quickly the pendulum can swing from one player to the other. That's certainly what's happened since that forehand miss at 3 2 for Federer. Gotta give this guy so much credit, though. It's a shame to end on an error. Fabulous tennis from both players. This was a tough shot. Thick of the wrist from Federer. Meltzer wasn't too far away. Great hand skills. And the net from Meltzer. 40, it's one of the reasons why he's won two doubles slams. And it's now set point for the world number 300.
Oh, that's a sumptuous pass. Looks like he's woken up again. Yes. Is it too little, too late, though? That's the question. It's just a magical backhand in full flow. Took it almost on the half volley. Unbelievable timing. Another set point. It's Meltzer who takes the second set. And you have to say, with the positive, aggressive tennis that he's played, deservedly so. Federer took his foot off the pedal, and it's Meltzer who's taken advantage. Победи соперников и создай свой клуб в онлайн игре Tennis Mania. TennisMania.com Pasta, pasta. Mele. Mele. Chitarra. Formaggio. No, no. no. Hey. Got away with it this time, but again, better a little overly casual on the short forehand. What's cruising you feel in this match, having won five games in a row? The set and 3 1. It's Federer's turn to have lost five games in a row, so is it his turn to respond? Well, that's one way to stop the rod, isn't it? First game, third set. Wins the first game of the third set in the blink of an eye. But you do wonder whether that amount of match practice of late for Federer, one of the reasons why he's just been a little up and down so far in this match. Getting that match consistency back so important for him. He's up against a very dangerous player in Jürgen Meltzer. Former world number eight. Uh, he's reached the semis of the French Open before. Fourth round here in 2011. Didn't play this tournament last year due to that shoulder injury. Someone who's come through qualifying. So 
Just very much used to the pace of the court and enjoying himself. I just feel like it's his last hurrah, perhaps. Federer, who hasn't been uh, beaten in the first round of a Grand Slam since 2003. And that was at the French Open. That's more like it. 15 -0. Certainly that year was uh, that was the last tournament, the French Open, where he lost in the first round. There was the last tournament he played at... The last Grand Slam he played before he won his first slam at Wimbledon. He's being tested today, though, no doubt about that. his biggest loss was the second round upset he suffered uh, in 2013 at Wimbledon Let's first service lost to uh, Sergei Stokowski of course if you remember that On a day of upsets 40-30. But other than that, Federer has been so consistent in going deep, especially here. 12 out of the last 13 years, he's reached the semi-finals or better at this tournament. And with tennis like that, he's likely to do the same in 2017. Just a yep from Meltzer. So he'll have to get past the likes of Nishikori, Burdick, and Murray if he is to reach the semis this time around. And right now, his focus is just on Meltzer. a really important service hole for Meltzer. So often you see when the underdog against a, a big seed has won a set, the level just drops a fraction at the beginning of the next set. So a, a crucial service hold for the Austrian. Shows that he maintains the momentum. making the most of the second serve and he's getting a, an opportunity to swing at it oh. who's won 28 15. points from 35 behind the first serve 12 from 23 behind the second nearly 50 percent From the chair, I don't think Meltzer was going to challenge this either. Federer, surprisingly, signing against challenging two. It's a bullet. 
So it barely even moved and it hit the back fence. 201 kilometers an hour. Ace count into the double figures. There is a 26th unforced error for Federer. Is it the same amount of winners? Mr. Federer is changing the ball on the left near Saline. Overall from the chair umpire. And Federer this time will challenge. Missed it by Whiskers. That's a great overall. Pressure on this second serve, though. Now, the 17th seed. This time it's Federer's turn to catch a line. Mr. Federer has two challenges remaining. Survives the juice game and moves in front once more. That's the former world number one. Federer in front, 2-1, third set. Эти часы видели моменты длиною в миг и в вечность. Они открывали многообещающие сезоны, видели сражения великих теннисистов на кортах Мельбурн-парка. Но лишь оглянувшись назад, мы понимаем, что именно в эти моменты у нас на глазах творилась история открытого чемпионата Австралии. Эти часы не просто показывают время, они рассказывают историю. Pre-match blessing, strong first impressions, awakening New Year spirits, health for a new life, the first wave of the day, a colorful welcome to spring. Wherever you wish to go, a good start to your journey is on time, smooth as silk. This program is presented by TennisPoint.com. It's fascinating, isn't it? This first round encounter. Federer, breakdown in the first set, came back to take it. It was break up in the second. Meltzer then fought back to take it. Which way will it twist and turn next? have had a phase where they've won five games in a row. It's generally been about who can get that first strike in, get themselves up onto the baseline. That's all been a little hit and miss for Federer, but he's playing against an easy opponent. Well, so with that. Left-handed sliced serve. Hit with a variety of spins. You never know when he's going to step up the court and come forward. And a lot of winners too. The 
starting to serve and volley there, Meltzer, but now probably regretting it. Fine return from Federer to the feet of the Austrian. First break points of this set. The 17th seed. What a return that was. Cutting around the side of the ball as it swerved and skidded away from Meltzer. And it's Federer who breaks first in this third set. And leads by three games to one. You'd have to call them the big five now, wouldn't you? Murray, Djokovic, Nadal, and Vavrinka. Winning three Grand Slams. Vavrinka scraping through just a few moments ago, incidentally, against Martin Klesan. 6-4 in the fifth, came from a breakdown in that set, as well as a number of other sets. In fact, as well as every other set he won, he recovered from a breakdown. Murray also was pushed hard, but won in straight sets. Federer being tested here. I just wonder whether it was a big gap to those guys. Is closing. Or whether it's just the pressure of the first round of a Grand Slam. An early, early season rust. So it'll be Djokovic. And Nadal, who get their campaigns underway tomorrow, along with the likes of Reinic. The chance there, Meltzer. A little surprised he had so much time on the ball there. Consolidates the break. And Federer gives himself a three-game cushion in this third set. Leads by four games to one. This program is presented by TennisPoint.com. Now just joining uh, me. Big upset today coming in the women's singles. Some kind of Halep crashing out. To uh, Shelby Rogers. And a couple of scares elsewhere, but all the big seeds finding their way through. Murray through, Vavrinka through in five sets. Angelique Kerber, the top seed in the women's singles and defending champion, did drop a set today. Got through in three sets against Lysia Tsurenko. And Federer survive here, having dropped the second set.
and making it look easy. Smothered his opponent with the early strike on the return. One and ten of 19 points where he has had a look at his second serve. So the slices look very good today for Federer. So good at varying the spins and speeds of the slice. It's not just a, a floated slice. He can knife down the back of the ball. Very tough to get a rhythm off. Oh, and he's enjoying himself now. Almost casually ghosting into the net. 30, 40. And showing his magical hand skills. That was some low volley. And wonderful control. Oh, he did well. It was awkward. Didn't panic. This. Advantage, Melzer. That's a gutsy service hold from Melzer. And with how this match has ebbed and flowed, you just never know. That could be a crucial hold. To save the break point in it, that ensures that it is just the one service break in this third set for Federer. Fifteen. Still feel if there is a weakness in this game, it is the backhand. Yeah, you can get cheaper points from. More errors from that side. What <laughs> second serve that is. Ace number 11. About putting a bit of kick on the second serve with a bit of pace. But he's missed the drive volley. Now remember, he was up a break in the second set and missed a simple forehand where he just lost concentration momentarily. Is it going to happen again in this third set? That's an excellent return once more. Melzer is being very positive on the return. He's not standing too far back, so he's taking quite a lot of risk off the first serve from Federer. So as we're seeing a lot of aces from the Swiss player, but Meltzer's getting a racket to it. He's getting it back nice and early to Federer. Don't get strings to that one though. Game 
Federer closes out the game. It was just a small lapse in concentration, nothing big this time. It's a game away from taking the third set now, leads 5-2. So Federer looking uh, good here in this third set. Another player looking pretty good over on the Margaret Court Arena. Has had a good start to the year, Jeannie Bouchard. Got through to the semis in Sydney. And is up for love in the first set against Chirico. He's at 40-15 up as well. Or 15-40 up, I should say. So everything going the Canadian's way. That one over on Eurosport 2. As you can see there, she's now 5-love up. A difficult year last year. There's a former semi-finalist at the Australian Open is uh, Jeannie Bouchard. A good record here. And he's playing uh, confident tennis once again. So it'll be fascinating to see how she gets on this year. As it will be with Roger Federer. After uh, missing so much of last year. Time. It's been the sort of it performance so far that we were perhaps expecting from the now world number 17. We've seen dashes of brilliance throughout, but it has been Thank a little you. up and down. So far, a little more up than down as Meltzer is serving to stay in his third set now. made it talking about being on the up love 15 say so in terms of a lot of people watching out now 35 years of age in terms of his foot speed around the court doesn't seem to have lost any pace does it onto that one in a flash Confident tennis yet again from Roger Federer. Seizing the moment to step up the court. Love 13. Soon as he saw Elta was on the stretch. Inside the baseline and what a confident smash that was. Oh, ho, ho. 15, that would have been 15. even more special. Shots he can play. Just shots other players don't even think about. It's going to be challenged, but the ball was well, the chair umpire, the line judge, and Federer all thought this one was out. So the odds are stacked against Meltzer here. Smile on the face, Roger Federer. Yeah, it is quite a way out. 15 14. Two set points then. Federer takes the third set as he ups the ante again. Takes it six games to two in 28 minutes.
This program is presented by TennisPoint.com. Well, here is the third set summary from Roger Federer. Far better set of tennis from him. He almost went to sleep in that second set from 3-1 up. But that didn't happen this time in the third set. 13 minutes to eight unforced errors. First serve percentage was better, 64%. Meltzer's first serve percentage is still very good, but Federer clearly now has got a read on the Austrian's first serve. And look at that, net points won eight from 10. He's enjoying coming forward. You get the feeling he's enjoying the match altogether. He was so excited, like a, a boy in a toy shop. He seemed to uh, suggest when he was speaking in his press conferences, he couldn't wait to get out on the court, particularly playing here on the Rod Laver Arena at night special place in the heart of Roger Federer this court is and this tournament is having won it four times before and he uh, asked questions on his draw he said that uh, it's a good draw because he's in the draw this time around and he would prefer to be the favorite but he's of course the underdog now ranked at 17th in the world <laughs> he has uh, questions over his own fitness of course as I say ranked 17th in the world he's the 17th seed here and you're looking for omens, he's won 17 Grand Slams. Pete Sampras was 17th seed when he won the US Open in 2002. Elsewhere, meanwhile, on the Margaret Court Arena, you saw Eugene Bouchard cruising through the first set, and this is how she closed it out. Nice tasty bagel then for the Canadian, continuing her form from Sydney here in Melbourne. Super set of tennis then from Bouchard. Is she back this year? to challenge the best in the business yet again in 2017. Meltzer just taking a, a bathroom break, which you can understand. I think uh, particularly when you play Roger Federer, the match I'd imagine would always feel like it's getting away from you very quickly because he goes from point to point so fast and of course hits so many winners as well. So I like Meltzer just taking a bathroom break there, trying to slow things down a little. Federer to so Federer to get this fourth set underway, two sets to one up. Of course, breaking at the back end of that third set it helps the Swiss player as well. As he serves first in the fourth set, he is at a front runner, isn't he, Federer? Well, he's able to do both, isn't he? Both chase and be the front runner. He's number 13. Four Taylor. is one of the best serves ever, isn't it? Not the paces, not the fastest you'll ever see, but the variety and the accuracy. Just something to behold. And on cue, a third ace in a row. Secures a game in just a minute and one second. Underlining my point that when you are struggling against Federer, the match can very quickly get away from you because he just plays so quickly in between the points and in the points as well. Meltzer, as much as he wants to try and enjoy this, knows that he just needs to knuckle down here and try and frustrate Federer if he can, because it is former world number one who's been bossing the majority of points in the last set and a half or so. Or set in a game, I should say. Of course, Meltzer won five games in a row in the second set. Low 15. He has to stay aggressive, Meltzer. Oh, 
that's a shame. Fantastic rally. That's how hard Meltzer is having to work right now, just to win a point. I also thought he won this rally three or four times. Federer nearly stealing it. Hasn't won a, a Grand Slam match since the 2015 US Open. Melts it. And he played the qualies of the US Open last year, though. Shows how much he loves the game, the fact that he has come back to the sport after having surgery on his left shoulder in November 2015. Yeah, As he fires a winner and stops the rot. One game all then, fourth set. I don't think too many would have been too surprised if Melter had decided just to hang up the racket. Same age as Federer, 35, two players who just absolutely love playing this sport. And it's shown, hasn't it, in this match? It's been thoroughly entertaining. A number of terrific rallies. 15. Super return. Dangerous trying to kick it to the forehand there, Federer. Not what he uh, would have wanted. 30-15. It's just like uh, you see with the lefty serve. Whenever they play a right-handed player, they try and slide it away on the backhand side. Standard play for... Right-handed players to do the same back to the left-hander. Of course, Federer has the ability to mix it up at any serve he wants. His count now at 16. Pause. Some return. Full stretch. That's another fine backhand. Yes. Federer is being shown that there's still life in this match yet. Such a dangerous player is Meltzer. But he's capable of those sorts of shots. That's a great response, though, from a champion. Advantage. Must be so frustrating when you play a couple of unbelievable points to then serve fire down like that. What a backhand again. Backhand is on fire right now for yes. Jürgen Meltzer. On the run, risky shot over the higher part of the net, but Federer not expecting it and unable to deal with it. Meltzer probably couldn't have played a better game. And yet he still has another game point. Shrug of disbelief. 17th ace for Federer. Can he close the game out this time? Yeah, yes, he can. Of course he can. Such quality tennis from Federer both players. Two games to one. And it's Federer who moves in front. 2-1, fourth set.
And Federer looking to survive an upset here. Looking good at the moment. Two sets to one up on serve in the fourth set. But the biggest upset today came in the women's singles. And it was Simona Halep again for the second year running, losing in round one. Had uh, injury issues at the back end of last year and they've continued into 2017. Struggled with a left knee injury throughout. She took on Shelby Rogers in the opening round. And it was the American who bossed the majority of the match. Halep saying uh, in an interview afterwards that she could play pain-free for the first 45 to 50 minutes. But then after that, felt pain. So almost a little surprising to see her out there. Just hope she hasn't done too much damage for the rest of the, the season because she's always such a great player to watch. Her movement is so key to her game. But Simona Halep, the fourth seed, crashing out. Delight for Shelby Rogers, who uh, of course played some good tennis in Hobart this year, as well as in Brisbane. Definitely she played well. Um, I think she played a very high standard and um, I had pain with my, at my knee. So uh, for me in the second set was difficult to move anymore, but I think it's the first match when I say it, like because of the pain, I couldn't do much. It's a real disappointment for Simona Halep. Let's just hope that injury isn't too bad and she can get back onto the tennis court as soon as possible. Of course, last year she had struggles and issues at the start of the year as well. Going to have a nose surgery. Like it against it. Love 15. Such a fascinating year ahead, isn't it? 2017, both on the men's side and on the women's side. The likes of Federer being fit again. Nadal getting nearer to his best. Being fit once more. Battle between Murray and Djokovic. Lots of Ryanich and Nishikori on the rise. Other young players coming through like Dominic Team, Kyrgios, Alexander Zverev. Also, uh, don't forget Dimitrov with his superb performance in Brisbane. Go inside too. Please give a look. Excellent in. Brisbane, Conta playing superb tennis. Will Kerber reign again? And will Serena boss it all and regain the world number one top spot? Oh, that was a chance for Federer. Bit of a gift, really, from Meltzer. Right, you see uh, Federer chat away to himself like that. Super tennis. Smooth like silk. Point from Roger Federer. Off backhand, creating the opportunity to move forward by getting Meltzer on the stretch. And again, so clinical at the net. Two break points. Again. The yes from Meltzer says it all. Federer breaks first in the fourth set. Three you just wonder what the Austrian has left in the tank. Hasn't been the complete performance by Federer, no doubt about that, but certainly shown enough to worry the rest of the field at the Australian Open that he's not too far off his best. Certainly got the shot-making capability that he had before. Hasn't lost that. Love 15. Just a reminder, he's 3-1 up in the second set and lost it. Found the bet, the sideline. 
It's his favourite shot right now, isn't it? The, the backhand up the line. Ace number 19. serve from Federer. Getting all sorts of spin on it, getting it to cut and bounce into the body of Meltzer. That's her percentage is pretty decent, 63%. Confident hold from Federer from Love 30 down. And he's a couple of games away from winning this one. Leads by four games to one, fourth set. So Federer looking uh, good here. Elsewhere on the uh, Margaret Court Arena. It's a, a race to the finish, you would think, between uh, Federer and Bouchard at the moment. Bouchard, who took the first set, 6-love. Lost the first game of the second set, but is now up 3-1 against uh, Luis Chirico. Yeah, young American. Fighting hard. He's got a good character, Chirico. This one, incidentally, on Eurosport 2, if you want to watch it to its conclusion. But it's uh, good to have Bouchard looking like a, a real threat. For 2016, as I say, 2016 should say 2017. As I say, though, it's fascinating what's it's ahead cool. this year, both the men's and the women's game. So many questions to be answered, and a lot will be answered here in Australia. Many mountain to climb here for Meltzer. Lost the last three games. Does have new balls, though, 1 4 down. Great return. I think Meltzer can believe that that ball has come back. Got to throw a bit more risk behind the second serve. Meltzer and Federer a good foot and a half inside the baseline, taking all the time away from the Austrian. Fifteen thirty. I don't often hear a noise like that from Federer. You don't often see a backhand like that either. Do when he has time on the ball. Yeah. 
to get hold for Meltzer. In a bit of trouble at Love 30 there, but let's stop the rot. First game in four for the Austrian. And who knows? Seen matches change pretty quickly. So Angelique Kerber, top seed in the women's upper set and a break and get in trouble. in the match. Not to trying to get up the court, but just being forced back by the quality of the ball striking ability from Federer. Depth of the shot. Fifteen. And that has been where he's picked up a lot of points, particularly off the Federer serve, as I say. He's taken risk. He's got to take it early. And then when he's got it deep, he's picked up some cheap points from Federer. Times has looked a little rushed on the first ball after the serve. 30 15. Well, Federer electing to serve and volley. The serve was nowhere near wide enough, and well, Meltzer with the backhand that we've seen a few times now. He enjoys the line ball. Game finished. Better serve from Federer that time. Closes out another game, and he's now just a game away from a place in round two here at the Australian Open. Leads by five games to two. Bouchard, still a game behind, but looking very good. Six love, 4 1, the scoreline. Although Chirico has a break point now. That one over on uh, Eurosport 2, the Margaret Court Arena, which saw that dramatic match between Stan Vavrinka and Martin Klesan not all that long ago. Klesan, who was, well, up a break in the fifth set. He was actually up a break in the second and the third set. All of those sets he lost. It was uh, Vavrinka who won in five sets to survive. So the fourth seed is through in the men's. Saw a few moments ago, Simona Halep out though. Fourth seed of the women's. Crashing out to Shelby Rogers. It's the 17th seed, Roger Federer. Gonna make it through to the second round. Looking good at the moment, isn't he? Game, Chirico. As Chirico picked up a second game of the match. So Meltzer serving to stay in the match. 2-5 down. Challenge from uh, Federer. Center service line, ball was in. This is Federer's 69th major appearance. Second on the list for most Grand Slams played in the open era, behind Fabrice Santoro, with 70. Good to overtake that this year. Federer getting one of the challenges right.
Needs a few more of those, Meltzer. Just a fourth ace for the Austrian. Oh, well, it was some hot dog, wasn't it? Plenty of power on it. Really, Meltzer should have won the point with the volley. Got to get into the court too much. Great hand skills from Federer for the lob. And the noise, of course, is because it is match point for the 17th seed. 